Hi everyone on YouTube and all the NFL YouTube prognosticators and football fans everywhere. This is Andrew Warren, back here once again, giving you my thoughts about Week 13 and my picks for Week 14 for the 2022 NFL season. Check it out. First off, sorry about Coco. She's on my lap, so here she is. Yeah, she wants a little company for a while, so. Anyways, uh, my picks for uh, my thoughts about Week 13... It could have been a lot of worse than it could have been. So, straight up, good wise, you know, on the good side, yes, straight, straight up, I went nine, five, and one, including the push for the Commanders and the Giants game. And of course, against the spread, that's when I went downhill with a downhill spiral, with the twelve, two, and one, the twelve, with the two, twelve, and one, with that push overall for the Washington Commanders. And over and under, I went two and one, which is really good. I'm catching up with that, so I'm two and one over that overall in the year. And of course, in all my um, re in all my um, combined records so far for straight up, 111, 70, and two overall in the year. Guess the spread, the total opposite, 70, 94, and two overall in the year. And of course, the over and under, I'm fi 15, 26, and two. So a little bit more work to do for the um, against the spread, and we'll try to get. And I'm going to try to get that in squared away. Anyways, my, uh... Anyways, let's confirm my thoughts about week 13. The Buffalo and the Patriots, so... Um, gotta say, that was one of those heartbreaking... Not heartbreaking, one of those disappointing um, games for the Patriots I've seen in a long, long time. But Josh Allen looks for real. Let's see what he does in the postseason. Atlanta and Pittsburgh? Hmm... It goes to say that Pittsburgh, I think they're going to be doing something down the road in the, in the future. Green Bay and Chicago, Aaron Rodgers still owns the Chicago Bears. That's a fact. Jacksonville and Detroit, I got all I got to say is Jared Goff is putting up some numbers and they got the Rams' um, first round pick, I believe, which could be a top five pick. So you got to look out for that. The, the Minnesota Vikings and the New York Jets. The Minnesota Vikings look like they're going to be a team of the destiny. It still keeps doing that. Still still on, on the record in my book on that. So, And because of that, the the Minnesota Vikings have swept the AFC opponents for the first time since 2009 when Brett Favre was there. They're, that's what I believe, That's if I'm not mistaken on that. As I mentioned, the Commanders and Giants, that's a tie right there. I go to tell you on that one. And I... Go to show you on the tie on that one, so. Hmm. Excuse me for a minute. I'm looking for my notes. Yep, here we are. Oh, yeah, tennis, uh, Tennessee and Denver. Yeah, Tennessee and Denver, but Denver still has the worst offense in the league on that one. But. I did pick. Uh, I did get that one one straight up, but I think I got the against the spread wrong on that one. So I forgot to put on my notes last week, and I do apologize for that. Which, anyways, that being said, you know, Denver still has one of the worst offenses in the league. So, anyways, let's continuing on. Yeah, let's continue on with Baltimore. Baltimore, oh, <laughs> Lamar Jackson got hurt, wishing nothing but the best, but they end up still getting the win. Cleveland and Houston. Goes to show that Houston's a laughing stock right now. Seattle and Los Angeles. Los Angeles Rams, excuse me. Like I said, the Rams have the, they shouldn't give up their, um, their pick, number one pick for Detroit. It looks like um, Detroit's going to the better road than in what the Rams are doing right now. So, it's got to tell you about that one. Miami and San Francisco. San Francisco got the win, but it came with the price with Jimmy Garoppolo's injury. So, that's what I need to say about that one. Now, the big question is, are they going to go after Baker Mayfield, which they just, which the Panthers just got cut? So, that's the big, big, big uh, question on that one. Or are they gonna continue? What are they gonna do? Are they gonna go with Trey Lance if he's not done? If he's still not hurt. But 
We'll have to see what the thing is right now. Hmm. So, as a... Yeah, I think um, the Mr. of Element, I think, um, Brock Prody, I think he's going to be the new starting quarterback, I think. Like, that's what I was told, heard about that one. So, yeah, so I, I think that's the way they're going to go with it, I think. So, uh, I think uh, Brock Prody is going to be, be the, I believe he was Mr. Irrelevant, but I think he would be the new starting quarterback for the 49ers as of right now, as I've heard. So, we'll have to can find that one out as we go along. Kansas City and Cincinnati, congratulations. Joe Burrow has beaten Patrick Mahomes again. And now he is unbeaten again with with Patrick Mahomes. I shouldn't have gone with Joe Burrow on that one, but I didn't. But oh well. The LA Charge and the Las Vegas Rams. No, the LA Charge and the Las Vegas Raiders, excuse me. But the Raiders, congratulations. They got another win. As much as I don't like Josh McDaniels as a head coach, love him as an offensive coordinator. He's doing a really good job with the Raiders as of late. In Sunday Night Football, with Dallas and Indianapolis, if you would have told me that Dallas would have got 33 points in the fourth quarter and won the game, I would have thought you were crazy. But they did. Dallas won it. Dallas got the win. And they're still it's a still tight with the A with the NFC East right now. In the in the NFC East uh, NFC South showdown with uh, Monday Night Football with Tampa Bay and, and New Orleans Saints, Tom Brady has another clutch comeback. Congratulations! You know that was a big big um, comeback moment, and wish him more. So that's my thoughts about Week 13. Let's get on to my Week 14 picks. Okay, before we get to the Week 14 picks, buys this week: the Atlanta Falcons, Chicago Bears, the Green Bay Packers, the Indianapolis Colts, the New Orleans Saints, and the Washington Commanders all have buys this week. This is the last uh, rounds of the buys before um, we uh, before the regular season ends. So this is the last of them. So if you have like uh, Tana Haneke, uh, Justin Fields, or Aaron Rodgers, the Falcons defense, or the Saints defense, or they got Matt Ryan on the Indianapolis Colts if you have them, or anyone like that, just bench them this week on fantasy football because they won't be playing this week. So anyways, that being said, um, let's get on to the Thursday night football game with the Las Vegas Raiders and the LA Rams. Sorry about that, you know, I just said I forgot to put my over and unders in, the, in this one, So, but I d got them right now. So anyways, for um, the Las Vegas Raiders and the Los Angeles Rams on Thursday Night Football, this is going to be a very close matchup, I, I believe. Um, the Vegas Raiders, I think they have the slight edge due to their current uh, hot streak right now, I think. So I'm going to take the Las Vegas Raiders over the Los Angeles Rams in this game and Los Angeles in this game. On the line, the Vegas Raiders are 5.5 point favorites in this game. I'm going to take the Las Vegas Raiders minus 5.5. Over and under, it's 44 and a half. So I'm going to shoot for the under 44 and a half. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. The New York Jets and the Buffalo Bills. Now, I think the Buffalo Bills will look, want a little bit of redemption after what happened against the New York Jets a few weeks ago. I think Josh Allen had one of the worst games of his career so far against the New York Jets. So I think I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills over in Buffalo over the New York Jets in this game. But on the line, though, the Buffalo Bills are 9.5 point favorites in this game. I'm going to shoot for the... Jets plus 9.5 because I think it's going to be a uh, close scoring game. The Cincinnati Bengals and the Cleveland Browns. Now, this game, I think there's another team here that Joe Burrow is still unbeaten. That was the Cleveland Browns. And so, I think that being said, I think Cincinnati, I think I think Joe Burrow is going to take, you know, still have his winning streak alive in, in Cleveland. I really think it's going to be a, a, win, a big win for um, Cincinnati. I think it's going to be a really close one. I think I'm going to sink, sink the Cincinnati Bengals over the Cleveland Browns in this game. On the line, though, Cleveland's favored by... I mean, Cincinnati is favored by five in this game. I'm going to take Cleveland plus five. The Minnesota Vikings and the Detroit Lions. Now, this game is a much one for situation for the Minnesota Vikings. I believe if the, Vi in the Vikings win, I think they get the NFC North, if I'm not mistaken. So, anyways, that being said, I think Minnesota wants that division, so I'm going to take the Minnesota Vikings over the Detroit Lions in this game. On the line, though, Minnesota's favored by one in this game. I'm going to take Minnesota minus one. The Dallas Cowboys and the Houston Texans. Now, this is going to be one of the most highest um, spread picks in this one all year. But Dallas is, is favored in this game. But anyways, I'm going to take Dallas to win this game in Dallas, up right? Just the way Houston's doing lately. So I'm going to take the Dallas Cowboys over the Houston Texans in this game. On the line, though, this is when you're going to get dicey. The Dallas Cowboys are 17-point favorites in this game. 
I'm going to take Houston plus 17. I think it's way too many points. I mean, Dallas is good, but I don't think they're going to pull up like that. So I'm going to take Houston plus 17. The Tennessee Titans and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, this is an, another classic matchup. I think it's going to be a little close scoring game. Um, I think it's in Tennessee, though. I think Tennessee has a slight edge of that. So I'm going to take the Tennessee Titans at home over the Jacksonville Jaguars in this game. On the line, though, Tennessee is favored by 3.5 in this game. I'm going to take Tennessee minus 3.5. The Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. Now, this is a much closer game than I expect to be. It's a division matchup. You expect it to be close matchups and division matchups. But Philadelphia, I think, has a slight edge of it. I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles over the New York Giants in this game. On the line, though, Philadelphia is favored by 6.5 in this game. I'm going to take um, Philadelphia minus 6.5. The Buffalo Bills and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, this game is going to be a lot close matchup. You know, both teams got the win. That's what they desperately needed. But now with um, Lamar Jackson's injury, it's going to be a lot closer call than I think it's going to be. It's so close, but I'm going to be favoring the upset in this one. One of my two upsets this week. I'm going to take the Baltimore Ravens over the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh in this game. On the line, though, Pittsburgh's favored by one and a half point favorites in this game. I'm going to take Baltimore plus one and a half. The Kansas City Chiefs and the Denver Broncos. Now, this game, uh, Kansas City's going to get very motivated to win this game. Kansas City's going to win. I think they're going to be so motivated because they lost to uh, uh, Joe Burrow. I think I'm going to take uh, the Kansas City Chiefs over the Denver Broncos in this game. On the line, though, Kansas City is favored by 9 in this game. I'm going to take Kansas City minus 9. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the San Francisco 49ers. Now, with this game, I think it's going to be a lot closer game than I expect it will be. I think this is going to be a very close call. I think this is going to be really tight, really, really tight. So... Now that Jimmy Garoppolo's injury, I think this is going to be very, very, very slight. Oh, excuse me. I went to the wrong one. I think this is going to be a very, very close call. I really think this is going to be very, very good on this one. I think this is going to be... This is, I believe I would, if I said this right, if I'm not mistaken on this one... I think it's Brock Porley as uh, Brock Porley as the quarterback, but Tom Brady against backup quarterbacks, he is untouchable on that one. But he's the upset in this one. I'm going to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers over the San Francisco 49ers in this game. On the line, though, San Francisco is favored by three in this game. I'm going to take Tampa Bay plus three. The Seattle Seahawks and the Carolina Panthers. Now, Baker Mayfield has got cut for the Carolina Panthers. He is officially out after, like, six, five or six months ago. They traded him for him. All of a sudden, they cut him. And now, they expected to, uh, I, I expect, to, who I, Sam Dartle or P.J. Walker are going to be the starting quarterback. So, I think whoever's going to be the starting quarterback for um, Carolina, I think they're going to lose outright for Seattle anyway. But, I think... In this case scenario, it's in Seattle. I'm going to take the Seattle Seahawks over the Carolina Panthers in this game. On the line, though, Seattle is favored by five in this game. I'm going to take Seattle minus five. Sunday Night Football, the Miami Dolphins and the LA Chargers. Now, this game is going to be a much closer game. I think I expect it to be a high-flying game in this one. But I'm going to take on the Miami Dolphins over the LA Chargers in this game. On the line, though, the Dolphins are favored by three in this game. I'm going to take the Dolphins minus Minus three. Over and under, it's 52. I'm going to go over 52 and a half. Monday Night Football. Now, my, my New England Patriots and the, and the Arizona Cardinals. Now, this is a much, much win for situation for my New England Patriots if they want to get the seventh spot in the wild card. They have to win straight out just to get to the wild card spot. They have to win at least four games to at least, at least get to that point. And they have to start winning now. So, I think my case scenario, I think I'm going to pick my New England Patriots over the Arizona Cardinals in this game, in Arizona in this game. On the line, though, my Patriots are favored by one in this game. I'm going to take my Patriots minus one. Over and under, it's 44. I'm going to shoot for under 44. Okay, a big shout-out to my good old buddy, Edward Lernan, right there. He makes great NFL YouTube prognosticator videos. And if you like Zodiacs, want some Zodiac videos, he's your guy, too. So check him out on the rest of the NFL YouTube prognosticator page in the description down below right here. Until then, this is Andrew Warren signing off, saying good luck to all of your picks this week, and rock out.